So ladies and gentlemen, those uh, growing up in the 70s and 80s looked at this guy as probably one of the most important uh, dancers and actors and performers of the era. And he wasn't a household name anyplace else but Canada. He was a choreographer for TV shows. He was on stage, uh, played pretty well himself as a dancer and uh, presenter. Jeff Hislop. Now, this Canadian actor, singer, dancer, choreographer, and director, many of his roles have been in musical theater, and because of his personality and his overall great looks, he was uh, a fan of all ages. His most famous roles, of course, were as Jeff the Mannequin in a children's show today's special, and as a title role in the Canadian production of The Phantom of the Opera in 99. Now, uh, TV choreography most known for a lot of people in the uh, show The Rays with the, the, the husband and wife uh, uh, disco duo, duo that were a two-year wonder in Canada on TV and performing actually came to my hometown middle school of Jack and New Brunswick uh, back in the day. Now, Hislop was born in Vancouver. He was married to Vancouver-born singer and actress Ruth Nickel, and he have one daughter, Gemma Nickel Hislop, born in 76. Now, he appeared uh, early in Jesus Christ Superstar, the, tea, the movie version, in 1973, and as well, The Magic of Aladdin, Once Upon a Giant, playing Prince Daryl, The Wars, uh, playing Clifford Purchase, Today's Special, when he played Jeff, uh, Dancing Man, uh, 1980, where he played himself, uh, Jack and the Beanstalk, and Oom Pah Pah. Now, his stage work has been very diverse, and there's been a lot of roles. We're going to go over this very quickly, because, you know, either either he was a performer, uh, a dancer, or a director. A Chorus Line, Aladdin, A Little Show, Anna Green Gables, Bye Bye Birdie, Cabaret, Dames at Sea, The Fantastics, Godspell, Hamlet, Jack and the Beanstalk, Jacques Brel is Alive and Well and Living in Paris, Jane Eyre, Larry's Party, uh, Histoire de, de Soldat, Love's Labor's Lost, The Music Man, Kiss of the Spider Woman, uh, Pepin, The Pirates of Penzance, The Producers, The Wizard of Oz, and of course, best known for the title role in the Phantom of the Opera of the Canadian uh, side of it. Now, that was a uh, big event in Canada in 1999. We're in the middle of Phantom of the Opera uh, mania throughout the North America. And when Jeff Hislop was uh, asked to play the part, it was not, say, front page news, but it was something that we're very uh, proud of, uh, that a lot of people basically said, this is the best person to represent the Canadian aspect. Now, he's had one-man shows, Jeff Hislop, Feet First, and Jeff Hislop Now. He's di directing choreographed works as, as a wide range, a little show, Babies, Bless Them All, The Club, Company, of course, Dancing Man, Guys and Dolls, Godspell, because every good Canadian stage person does a version of Godspell, Good Boys and True, Irma LaDuce, Jacob Tutu, again, Jess Hislop for uh, Feet First and Jess uh, Hislop Now, Joseph, an amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat, the McCartney TV special, Modern How How Housewives, On Tap, Peter Pan, Side by Side by Sondheim, Six Women with Brain Death, Take Two, they're playing our song in today's special. Now, Back in, like I said, from mid-1970s onwards, we had a lot of people like Jeff Hislop who were only big stars in Canada. And, you know, you know we, we look at that era as in a very develop, a good development area. He taught a lot of people how to be a choreographer. He was a reliable, it's not the word, he was professional, everything he did. But when we saw him on TV, either as a background, you know, the dancer, choreographer, we're really happy because you know it's going to be a quality thing. Jeff put in so many hours, <clears throat> countless hours, in his chosen profession. Again, if there's going to be a choreography, choreography hall of fame for North America, he would be in it. Because my mom once said, you know, it's uh, it's too bad he's not big in the States. Can you imagine he was working for Cher or, uh, you know, uh, the Brady Bunch or stuff like that, you would have made a mint. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's the story of one of our favorite Canadians, Jeff Hislop. If you like what we're doing here, we're going to do a series of what they call Canadian, uh, what they call pop sensations or one country pop sensations, pretty much, of the 1970s. Let us know what you think with a like, comment, subscribe, or share. And don't forget, if you like Jeff Hislop, you come to the right place. Thanks for listening. Bye.